Hi y'all folks, this is Max from um, NexusSHacks.com um, So I've got a review of Slim ICS ROM for Nexus S series um, They're both available for the regular Nexus S and also Nexus S 4G on my right um, As for the next regular Nexus S, this ROM is compatible with i20 Oh sorry, i9020A, i9020T Those are AT&T and T-Mobile um, Nexus S and also the i9023 I think that's the international analog version um, anyway I got this ROM here one of the coolest parts about this ROM is uh, you'll see that as soon as um, you install it you'll see there's a lot more icons um, so the icons have been uh, miniaturized so there's you can fit one two three four five six seven eight of them um, and also your app drawer you can fit four by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so it's a really custom-made uh, ROM. The developer of this ROM wanted to make a very, very slim ROM with his customizations. Um, let's look at what it's running. Without phone, it's running uh, 4.0.3. Um, it's got its own kernel. You can overclock it. Uh, let me show you settings and there's um, ASS settings, this is actually stands for something, it's advanced slim settings ha 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 um, so you can go to performance um, I've got it clocked at 1.44 gigahertz at performance just for fun um, let me show you the number of governors it has, conservative on demand, um, that's basic, there's actually more on the Nexus S 4G version I think, let me see here let's go to ASS there, performance um, I got also this at, set at 1.44 gigahertz. Oh, actually, both have uh, conservative on-demand user space, power safe, interactive performance. I would actually pref uh, recommend running at that interactive out of all those governors. Um, I haven't tried with Matrix kernel yet. Um, it should work fine, um, but since it already has overclocking, I wasn't gonna bother with it. Quadrant scores um, not so great, um, but that's not all of it. Um, since it's a little bit different uh, custom UI, so everything pretty much works. Face unlock is a little bit iffy, and also video effects. I'm not sure what that is. Um, is not working. Um, let me go show you settings. It comes with its own um, UI settings. You can change the um, general UI. Um, just kind of similar to Codename and all the other cool ROMs out now. Oh, ah, you know what? I got it at 1.44 and just froze on me. Um, let me reset that while that's resetting. Um, oh, it would be a good idea to show you the cool uh, boot animation on this. You will probably be interested. Ah, let me let me crack open the battery real quick on this one and let me show you the settings I think it's because my, my Nexus S regular Nexus S this one sometimes kind of um, freezes if I overclock it too much but that's the uh, boot boot animation it's kinda cool Zalim. <coughs> um, but I've had uh, better results with Codename and Matrix ROM um, which I was able to go full 1.46 gigahertz um, so you can play around with the matrix kernel and the slim ROM if you like it. And let me show you around the ass also again. Um, so general UI, lock screen options. You can change the lock screen. Power saver. Um, LED options. So that's kind of cool. What is this? Oh, this is for the notifications. Um, when you turn off your phone and uh, general and toggles and battery um, it's a pretty good ROM everything works pretty good um, again the cool thing is it kind of turns your launcher it has its own launcher that turns you know puts more icons smaller icons um, I still prefer codename and uh, Think, what is it? Crossbones and Bixie. Those three ROMs I, I, I really like. Um, but this is a still really good ROM, just matter of personal preference. 
Um, it also, you know, it, it you can do pretty much everything that those other ROMs can do. Um, so definitely a go on this one. This one does come with Speedy Kernel actually, um, but you can load up other kernels like Matrix Kernel and it should work fine. Anyway, that was just a quick overview. Um, oh, let me show you something here. What is this? Oh, so it does come with its own custom uh, toggles here, which is kind of cool. You can see Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS. It's a little bit different from um, the other ROMs out there. Um, let me see. And I'll show you the, the lock screen. You can change it. And let me see if there's wallpapers. I think there is for wallpapers. The wallpaper. Does it come with the own wallpaper? Let's just do this one. Phase in now. No extra wallpapers that I know. Um, so this is just a, a slim ICS. I just want to review and give you a feel of what it looks like. And uh, it, again, main thing is you get more icons. And uh, if you have a ton of apps, and uh, you might enjoy having this ROM because it you can put like seven by um, well. Just the after is seven by four, but this one is actually three by four by four, I think. Um, so check it out. That's the ROM we uh, ROM of the week. And uh, if you don't like these, go try out Crossbones, um, Big C Codename, and Cro uh, Yes, those three I also recommend highly. Um, thanks, y'all, and subscribe. And don't forget to su sign up for our. Email list at nexus nexusshacks.com if you have a Nexus S or Nexus S 4G, as we update you once a week uh, with the latest ROM updates, um, and we don't share your email with anyone else. It's just for alerting you via email. And don't forget to hit that like button for me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you like my new background, huh? <laughs> I just put that there. Kind of cool. See y'all later.